right guys welcome back to the videos as you guys can see we got the truck back seuss how bad is the truck i, I was bad they graffitied. they graffitied the roof all right so pretty much this whole video the point of this video is to we're going to go through we're going to find the damage um kind of explain to you what we're going to do with it first things first this is a 2005 cat eye silverado and uh the very very first thing you probably notice they stole <laughs> they stole the emblem and and or spray painted it i'm not sure it looks like possible spray paint or stolen because it looks like glue i'm not really sure i'm pretty sure this is it down here <laughs> yeah that looks like it. second thing is they spray painted the headlights and not good like if you're gonna do bro if you're gonna steal it and drive it around might as well make it nice <sighs> quick engine wise everything seems to be in good working order i drove it here um they did steal the o2 sensors out of it or the cats and the o2s just yanked them Originally we had some Michelins on here. This one has a different tire. So I'm assuming they blew that out. And now we have three Michelins. We have some random stickers that weren't on here before. You guys see that? The door is way off. If you guys could see, I had to tear into this thing a little bit. Um, yeah, we got all kinds of graffiti in here. They, uh, Sprayed the dash a little bit, which hood rich. But I don't. What I don't understand is how are you gonna be good at stealing a car, but then like when you try to modify it, it looks like trash. <laughs> so that's one thing. Um, yeah, the door needs adjustment. So you guys can see that. Uh, I think uh, they're trying to swing it most likely at one of the truck meets. So. I got a little ding here. Um, they painted the rear lights. This time, they did a little better job on the rear. What else? Oh, this, they half tinted the window. <laughs> oh my God. Half tinted the window, they, they drilled out the, the lock for the door. So easy access since they don't have a key. This one doesn't need adjustment. They painted this. <laughs> um, my wires are jacked. I had to, you know, go through the fuses and fix a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, you guys can see. It's pretty wild. But, it's not a failure. This is actually a very, very good project. Me and Seuss were talking about it. This dude, Sean, on Instagram has a turbo 5.3 truck that he tows his corvette with and we we're thinking about doing the same thing so we could tow our cars to to the track and uh also have a good time in the truck if we feel like it um but yeah so uh other than that i mean a couple of little dings that i didn't that weren't there before but overall the body's still straight which i'm psyched on so good little project it still drives really good oil pressure is good um, gas gauge worked. I made it here from my house after I had to unlock the computer and do some other stuff and I got to put a new lock cylinder and a uh, Kill switch so this does not happen again But yeah, so today we got to do some exhaust work because as you guys could see nothing's in here. Hey They literally cut the cats and ripped my wiring. So It is what it is not lost now we got the work truck. You guys don't even know. I've wanted a work truck for a long time. Um, actually for towing, so then uh, we could do some hood rat track stuff and really drive it. So, the question comes down to, one, do I mod this thing? Of course you guys are gonna say yes. All right guys, you've seen all the damage. Um, this is, we pretty much made a Y pipe yesterday. Um, as you guys can see, made a Y pipe and uh so we have an exhaust on this thing um so i gotta finish up i ran out of wire yesterday so i gotta finish up wire like wiring i gotta finish up welding up this y pipe and then uh i also did a kill switch on it i'm not gonna show you guys because 
no need to show you where my kill switch is. Did a kill switch. We actually have two kill switches on this thing to prevent any kind of theft. And um, I'm, I gotta go and get a new lock cylinder. So it's gonna be double, double protection. It's gonna be real hard to steal this thing. So two kill switches, a new lock cylinder, and then eventually we're gonna do a quick release steering wheel. So then this thing is always gonna stay in my possession and uh, we'll be good to go. Once that is all finished, this thing does have a bit of an oil leak. I don't know where it's coming from. I believe it's rear main, um, which sucks because it's automatic, so I have to drop the transmission. That is the least of my worries right now. Right now, I just gotta weld up the rest of this exhaust, see how, quiet, how much it quiets it down, because pretty much it's like running open headers. Kind of scan it and adjust the tune for the rear O2s. Pretty much turn off the rear O2s on HP tuners. Then um, we're gonna go through and clean up the interior because it's highly graffitied. I also readjusted, kind of readjusted the door. It needs a little bit more, but it does work. Um, but yeah, this needs a heavily heavy cleaning in all regards. We're gonna clean up. I'm gonna go get one of the you know the headlight restoration kits and clean this up. It's like hard to see but you guys can see all the paint is real nasty no big deal we're gonna clean that up and we're just gonna get a nice daily driver so really this thing is gonna tow everything around for the pretty much tow the z around or, and or the gto i don't really know the goals for the gto as of right this second um all i know is i just want to get this thing good and then we'll kind of think about the gto on it I'm towards the tail end of modifying the GTO. I don't really want to push it too much further unless I get one, a really good diff setup, two, a good transmission setup. And right right now, both of those are not in the budget. So 